What's up everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about the specialization and exchange. So we already know that economics is all about scarcity and how people make choices given the scarce resources. Now we can move on and talk about the general operation of the economy and all the underlying principles behind it. Any individual economy in the world operates on the basis of two notions which are specialization and exchange. So what are they? Specialization increases the total output produced in the economy and exchange leaves everyone better off at the end. These two are inseparable and one does not make sense without the other. How is that possible? Let's start off with an easy example to give an illustration for specialization and exchange. Suppose you live in a dormitory. You and your roommate have such tight schedules that you each can spare only about an hour a week for mundane tasks like ironing shirts and typing homework assignments. Each of you must turn in a typed three-page paper every week and you each prefer to have your shirts ironed when you have the time. So you both have one hour or 60 minutes of spare time in total. Let's say it takes you 30 minutes to type your homework paper and your friend needs an entire hour to do the exact same thing. But he's more skillful at ironing and can iron one shirt in 5 minutes whereas you take twice as long or 10 minutes. During the hours set aside, typing takes priority because it's a homework. If each of you tries to do stuff on his own, you can finish typing in 30 minutes and in the remaining 30 minutes you can iron 3 shirts. Your friend would spend the entire hour typing. But if you would each specialize on what you do best, you the typing and your friend ironing in this case, you can finish typing 2 homeworks and your friend can iron 12 shirts in 60 minutes. Total output in the first case where there is no specialization is 2 homeworks and 3 shirts. Whereas in the case of specialization, it's 2 homeworks and 12 shirts, which is evidently more. Now let's see how exchange makes each of you better off. Remember that with no specialization, you were left with 1 homework and 3 shirts and your friend with only 1 homework. When you both specialized, you got 2 homeworks and your friend managed to iron 12 shirts. If you exchange one homework for six shirts with your friend, each of you will have one homework and six shirts which shows that you are both better off with specialization and exchange than without them. How this translates to the whole economy. In the given example, you and your roommate specialized and then exchanged output. No money was involved. In other words, you engaged in barter, where products are traded directly for other products. Barter works best in simple economies with little specialization and few traded goods. But for economies with greater specialization, money facilitates exchange. Money, such as coins, bills and checks, is a medium of exchange because it's the one thing that everyone accepts in return for goods and services. Specialization in a particular small job allows workers to focus on the parts of the production process where they have an advantage. People have different skills, talents and interests, so they will be better at some jobs than at others. If people specialize in the production of what they do best, they will be more productive than if they produce a combination of things, some of which they are good at and some of which they are not. And in addition to that, workers who specialize in certain tasks often learn to produce more quickly and with higher quality. Specialization only makes sense though. If workers can use the pay they receive for doing their jobs to purchase the other goods and services that they need. In short, specialization requires trade. For example, you might be a teacher in high school and you don't have to know anything about music theory to play music. They just buy an iPod or MP3 player with the money you earn, download the music and listen to it. Instead of trying to acquire all the knowledge and skills involved in producing all of the goods and services that you wish to consume, the market allows you to learn a specialized set of skills and then use the pay you receive to buy the goods and services you need or want. Think about the degree of specialization that went into your cotton shirt. A farmer in a warm climate grew the cotton and sold it to someone who spun it into a thread, who sold it to someone who wove it into a fabric, who sold it to someone who sewed the shirt which you bought at the end. Your shirt was produced by many specialists and this is how our economy works these days. So that was it for this video, thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section below. See you in the next video.